Hello, my lovely friends, and welcome to the start of my Novellathon reading vlog. So the Novellathon is a readathon put together by me, Rachel, Samantha, and Tiffany. Um, we are all lovers of novellas, so we decided to make a readathon out of it. If you hear running around, Ollie is with me. Yes, hello. Um, anyway, so this is a readathon going on from October 16th to the 22nd, I'm pretty sure. Um, he... <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> this is a readathon where you read as many novellas as you would like, um, as many novellas as possible, whatever you want to read novella-wise. It doesn't have to be romance, but um, I'm only reading romance books, so... Yeah, we do have a bingo board and like prompts and stuff. What normally I do with readathons is I just read books that fit into that theme. I don't really go for the prompts and stuff like that, personally, because of my mood reader brain. Um, I do have a TBR. These are just things that I can look to if I don't know what to read. So um, first, I did read something from Boo Hale by Kimberly Lemming. I don't know the full title. I can't remember it. I read this one today. At work when I had a break it's like 40 pages long and it is book number 2.5 in her Mead Mishap series so you read this book after that time I yeeted a love potion at a werewolf or something <laughs> by Kimberly Lemming which I read last month or no earlier this month so um it was a perfect fit to finally pick up the next book in this series it's a very short novella about cinnamon from book one and um her like dragon mate and them on and um like a certain like certain ceremony night or something like that it was fun i'm giving it like three stars probably there's nothing like amazing about it i want to say so um but i love kimberly lemming and she makes me laugh like all the time so and then i did finish another book today but it's not a novella but i will mention it really fast this is something oh gosh i'm horrible with titles y'all um i think it's to ravish a rogue to ravish a rogue by cm Nascosta. i finally finally read a cm Nascosta book that i really like <laughs> i read a few of her books and they've just been total misses for me like three stars or lower four star book like it was really good it's pirate romance give me all the pirates all day long but also incorporates monsters like he's this serpent monster creature he can like shift into this giant dragon serpent creature and he's the captain of a pirate ship and our heroine is a shapeshifter and she disguises herself as a boy to um, work on the ship to get passage somewhere but he knows immediately that that's a woman and he's gonna like mess with her basically um it's really fun I really enjoyed it um the monster aspect was so interesting because it was kind of like a historical monster romance it gave me Pirates of the Caribbean vibes for sure which is like my favorite movie franchise ever so I really really enjoyed this one it's not a novella though it's like 307 pages so I don't count that as a novella personally um, but I thought I'd mention that really quick because I did finish that today. I'm going to try and find some novellas on audio because I have yet to do that. And I'm going to go on my walk very soon. I try and do a daily walk just to get my body moving and going. And I need to find an audiobook because I just finished that one. Um, but I do have to read Brother Song by TJ Klune by Sunday. And that's going to take a big chunk of my time because that's like a 20 hour audiobook. And I can only go in two times speed because any play only goes up to two times speed. And I listen to those books at like 2.5. And I'm trying to save money. Like I don't need to buy an Audible credit to listen to this book if it's free. If it's available for me in a streaming service I already have. Anyway, I do want to read two novellas, a part of the Green King series. Um, so that's going to happen before I pick up Brother Song. I need to do that. I'm currently reading, again, I don't know the title for this, but it's something about a monster baby. <laughs> um and basically our heroine here inherits her great uncle's cabin who recently died he lives in like the middle of nowhere in the woods and she finds this alien baby that they kind of look like giant boulders like that's kind of what the alien species looks like but there's this guardian who's been guarding him for a long time um so she's like helping take care of this baby but then you have this guardian watching her and making sure she's doing like a good job basically so um, it's sweet and cute so far. I'm like 40% of the way through it. It's like 130 pages or something like that. Um, so I'm hoping to finish that today. My main thing that I have to do right now is um, get dressed in my walking clothes, <laughs> workout clothes. This is my outfit for work, a dress. So um, I need to get some clothes on, pick out an audiobook, 
um, that's novella length and um, get to walking. Um, oh, bless you, Ollie. But, um, oh, bless you. <laughs> anyway, um, I am going to go do those things. Um, and yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. I'm gonna be vlogging my whole week of reading novellas. Hi friends, it's Tuesday. I'm about to leave to go to the grocery store. I've already been to work today. I'm in my work outfit, um, but I need to go to the grocery store and I thought I would update y'all on um, what I've read so far, the Novellathon. I told you I finished that Kimberly Lemming book. That's the only book that I have finished for this readathon so far. Um, I am halfway, over halfway through Raising the Monster's Child, which is a fine read. Um, it's like very cute and sweet. Um, I don't really have much else to say about it because um, I, I need to read more. And then I'm like 70% of the way into, I think it's called The Alien's Escape by Ella Maven. This is the second book in her like Alien Motorcycle Club series, the second book. I read the first one and I thought it was fine. But when I was going on my walk yesterday, I was trying to find a good audiobook to listen to. I picked up this Millie Tayden, like, alien werewolf <laughs> book at first. I listened to, like, halfway through my walk. And I was like, no. Because I, I do this thing where I pick up a book with a trope or a subgenre that I know I don't really like. But I'm like, ooh, maybe this one will change my mind. And this one was Why Choose. <laughs> with, like five of these werewolf guys, alien guys wanting to get with this girl like right off the bat. And I'm like, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> and so I DNF that one. Um, and then I picked up this Ella Maven because it was already sitting in my Libby. And I was like, okay, I'll just read it. It's fine. Because I'm having a really hard time finding audiobooks like that are novella length. I'm finding it really difficult for ones that I haven't already read yet. Like Ruby Dixon has so many. I've read all of them. So I might have to do some rereads. Um, but I think after I finish this book, because I'm gonna finish it, it's like three star read, it's fine. This heroine is a human. She gets kidnapped from aliens and gets put in a cell with another alien who's like the main alien in the series. Um, because these evil aliens want them to mate because they want the baby that the Herman's gonna have whatever and they find out their fated mates whatever it's fine it's about them like living in this cell and living in captivity together and then trying to escape you know the you know the drill um it's fine I don't think this series is for me when you have Queen Ruby like to compare everything to like it's really hard <laughs> to find like alien romance authors that are up to par so like up here Elizabeth Stevens and Zoe Draven are two if you're needing more alien romance authors to read those are the ones to read, um, but they don't have any novellas for me to read and listen to specifically. I have plenty of eBooks on my TBR. It's the audios that are I'm really struggling to find books for. Um, I've started making a shelf on my Libby because I did cancel my Audible and my AnyPlay for the time being in order to save up money. I'm trying to move soon and um, I'm just trying to save as much money as possible. So I'm canceling both subscription services for now. And so I'm only really using Libby and it's hard to find, like I typed in like romance novellas, but it doesn't show all the novellas obviously. Um, and so I'm having to like find authors that write novellas and plug it into Libby to see if it pops up. And sometimes there's a wait for it. So I think Christina C. Jones has a few. So I think I might do that because um, I do really like her writing. So after I finish this one, I'm gonna pick up a Christina C. Jones. I know there's a series that Brie absolutely loves that I need to pick up. And I think all the books in that series are novella length. So, but I'm gonna finish listening to that on the way to the grocery store because the grocery store is like 25 minutes away because it's the next town over. That's small town life for you. Um, and then, well, there's a grocery store in my small town, but like it has nothing for me to eat personally. Like not a lot for me to eat. And if there is something for me to eat, it's very expensive being gluten-free person. So um, I need to go to the next town over where there's an H-E-B. <laughs> and plus it's cheaper there. Again, I'm trying to save money. I'm like praying and hoping that I can get my grocery budget under $100 today. I can never get it under $100. <laughs> like ever, ever. Like gluten-free food is astronomical, astronomically expensive on top of that, like grocery prices are just going through the roof. So I'm going to try and try and get $100, but I have like a list. I need these things. So yeah, and then tonight I think I'm gonna make some cookies. So um, yeah, and I also need to go on my walk today. So I have a little bit of 
some stuff to do today um where I can finish my audiobook and I want to finish the like monster rock child alien book <laughs> so um yeah I'm gonna do those things oh and tonight's the live show I have sprints at like 8 p.m for me because <laughs> 6 p.m for I think Samantha and Tiffany is like 8 p.m for me and Rachel <laughs> so um like it's just gonna be like whoa uh, that's bedtime for me that's when I get in the shower that's when I go to bed not really I go to bed at like 9 30 <laughs> when you're a teacher you get up early anyway um so I am gonna go to the grocery store and I'll update you later hi friends it's actually Thursday I didn't vlog at all yesterday on Wednesday Wednesdays are my busy days right after work I go to Pilates for an hour and then right after that I set out all my ingredients for baking cupcakes because I bake at a local um place in town um like i sell my gluten-free stuff um and i give them to them i give it to them on thursday morning so i bake everything wednesday night i set all my ingredients and wait for them to get room temperature while i go on my walk and come back and bake and i baked until like 10 o'clock at night so um i'm tired <laughs> um it is thursday today it's after work um, it's about to be like five o'clock and I'm about to change to put on um, my walking clothes because I cannot walk in a dress, obviously. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm honestly really tired. I think because I went to bed so late last night, I'm exhausted today. So um, I need to take off this makeup. Um, but I also wanted to update you on everything that I read since I left to talk to you because I have read a few things. So let me pull up my Goodreads for you. I don't remember everything that I've talked about, honestly. Um, but I think I'm gonna go with what I remember. <laughs> so I ended up finishing Raising the Monster's Child by May Kara. Kara, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm giving this one three stars. It was fine. I was just kind of bored and a little too insta lovey for my taste but i thought the alien creature like the boulder rock creature was like pretty cool so it's three stars it's fine um and then i finished the aliens escape by ella maven i think i talked about this one 2.5 stars it like nothing special honestly um i've honestly forgotten like everything about it except for the fact that their captor their captor captives there you go that's what i was looking for <laughs> captives together on this alien planet and then they find out their faded mates or something like it was just not it for me i'm just i'm in this again i think i'm in this reading mood that like i want something epic like i want something life-changing to read and then i'll talk about the ones that i'm currently reading or ones i haven't made reviews yet for um so i finished can't escape love by Lisa Cole. i haven't written a review yet but i think i'm gonna give this one four stars our heroine this is a novella a part of her like royalty romance series i've only read book one in this series even though this is book number i think like 2.6 um i started book two in the series like a while ago and i dfed it it just isn't i wasn't in the mood for it um but i've been wanting to read this one for a while our heroine's a wheelchair user and she befriends this guy online who live streams puzzle making and she falls asleep listening to his voice at night and she just like she can't fall asleep ever since he stopped streaming so she reaches out to him and is like hey i'll pay you a large large sum of money if like you just give me voice recordings of you talking because i can't fall asleep like my insomnia is so bad ever since like you deleted your channel they start this friendship that turns into something more i thought it was really sweet Alyssa Cole has great writing, so I really enjoyed this one. I also finished Feral Song by TJ Klune. This is book number 3.5 in the Green Creek series. Um, this one has a bunch of point of views. It has like, I think in one of our past live shows, we were talking about how we would love a Joe point of view. And in here you get a little bit of Joe's point of view, which I really enjoyed, but like you cannot read this book as a standalone. But um, TJ Klune did make an audio book of this on his podcast channel on youtube so um if you like search feral song by tj clune on youtube um you can listen to it like for free and it's not like pirated or anything like he put it on his youtube so um i thought that was really cool and i listened to it and it has some sound effects in there that was really cool so i really enjoyed that one i have to read one more novella in this series which is love song part two so i'm gonna read that one like today or tomorrow and then i did start an arc of silent lies by neva altaj but i'm not really gonna talk about it all that much on here 
I don't think this is novella length. Let me see. No, it's 342 pages. So no, but I have to read this as an arc and I'm really enjoying this one. So I'm just going to mention that because I do have to read that as an arc. Um, and then, oh my gosh, we found out on the live that Squeak by Vera Valentine um, has an audiobook. <laughs> and I was like, what? So I went and searched my Libby and uh, it was there. So um, I got it and I listened to it all in one day because it's two hours long and I listen on like 2.6, 2.75, you know, like around that time, around that speed, um, speed. And so like, I, I had a break at work, like an hour break at work and I was able to finish it <laughs> while doing other things. So, um, it was like a balloon Omega verse shifter book. It was fun. I think I'm going to give it 3.5 stars. Like it was fun. Like the writing was good. The writing was good. Um, I wish it was longer. Honestly, I found it very interesting. So yeah, yeah. Balloon shifter balloon shift I'm not joking um I think I heard this originally from Tiffany and Madison from Princess of Paperback so um they're the ones to credit this but there's even like one like <laughs> spicy scene in here where like <laughs> they have like balloon sounds playing and I'm like what is going on <laughs> uh, but it has duet narration which is cool. Um, so the heroine like talks, like the female narrator talks from the heroine speaking. It's not like the male narrator saying the woman's lines, you know what I mean? So, um, funny, very funny, entertaining. They don't have the second one on audio, so I can't listen to that, but I've been struggling with trying to find audiobooks to read. I think I said that. So, um, I need to pick one out, <sighs> pick one out to listen to on my walk because I don't have anything else to listen to. Um, I do have a audiobook waiting for me. I have a few audiobooks waiting for me on Libby, um, but they're not novellas, so it wouldn't count, but I think I'm gonna be fine with that. Like, I think I might just pick up a regular book. I wanted to read this, I think it's called Fake It Till You Bake It. I have the um, physical copy, but I really want to read this one. But I only have it for like two more days. So if I'm able to request like an extension, I'll do that. But if someone's waiting in line behind you, you can't do that. So um, like if someone's waiting for it, I'll return it, let someone listen to it. Um, and then I'll pick up something else. I think I have Lotus by Jennifer Hartman sitting in my Libby too. And that one I know is gonna tear up my heartstrings. So, <laughs> and I've been wanting that. I've been wanting to read this like, I don't know, I've been wanting to read something epic. I wanna read something moving. Um, which is hard when it's like novella time. <laughs> I'm wanting to read these like long, deep, emotional books. That's just what I'm feeling right now because I think that's what I desire. So, um, I'm just wanting that. So, uh, yeah. And then I'm really in the mood for some nanny romances. So I want to read some nanny romances, but again, I'm in novella time, Avery, like read the novellas. <laughs> um, so yes. And then for ebooks, I did start one today. Other than Silent Lies, I had another one. Let me pull it up. Oh, I downloaded Blast from the Past by Jessica Kane. Um, that was on my TBR, and I do want to read that one. And Jessica Kane's not writing books anymore. That's so sad. She's been having some piracy issues, and so she's like, I'm just not publishing anymore. So um, I really hope that Jessica Kane has like a pen name and that she's still able to write other things and whatever other name she has out there in the world because she's so fun like her writing is so fun and I hope she's able to just write at least something yeah I'm just looking at my kindle right now I did download creepy court because tiff and samantha just keep talking about it and I want to read it so bad they're like no monster novellas monster novellas that take place in this like mall or something so I've heard great things. I think Samantha said the first one's like a praying mantis, which I don't know about that one, but like, we'll see. Oh, I just got my arc for Dukes and Deeks by Tori Jean, which is one I've been dying to read. So I need to read that one. That one comes out at the beginning of November. There's a few arcs I just didn't get to. So I have like Brittany Cherry's new book I have to read. I'm like getting all these arcs and all this stuff like during novella spooky time. So I <laughs> contemporary books um I do have like Madison's book and McKay's book like two of my friends came out with books in like very close period time time periods and I've been anticipating them for a while so I'm very happy and proud of both of them and they're just stunning anyway I need to go pick out 
an audiobook, see what's going on with that because I've like, I'm like standing firm on not buying like anything outside of necessity for a long while because I was planning on moving to a different city possibly in December but I know now that that's not possible with um, my income and so I've been job searching right now um, because I think of what I'm able to do and what my degree is in and everything like I think I should be, be should be paid more than what I am now like double what I'm getting paid now um and so I'm trying to find higher paying jobs stay at home jobs I really want to do a stay at home one because of my health my mental health has been like Ugh, because of um work and like how much I have to move I think um and I'm just exhausted <laughs> And I feel like also because I work in front of people all the time, I have social anxiety. I also have RBF, like major RBF, I think. And so I'm constantly having to change my face and the way that I look um, and the way that I speak and talk to make me seem approachable because you work with kids. Like, like I don't want to be the mean teacher. I don't want to be the mean person at school. No, that was a nightmare for me as a kid. I was terrified of teachers. I never want to be that. I am never mean. I don't raise my voice. I don't scream at kids. Like, no. And so I feel like I'm constantly having to talk. Obviously, you're talking to kids all the time. Because I have to talk, like, make sure my face doesn't look like RBF all the time. So, like, it's like a constant thing, constantly. And I'm just like, I wish I could just work in my house and prioritize my health my mental health so I know now that I can't move in December because of money stuff like I can't afford it cannot afford it I am scraping by right now and I'm not even paying for rent so <laughs> it's it's a struggle very much a struggle because I wanted to get my life up and moving but I also want to be financially stable enough to do that so I'm having to put aside some of my wants in order to be secure in my life so I'm going to have to move um in I was planning on moving in uh like J May June so I think that's more probably what is going to happen so um <laughs> it's hard it's it's hard it's not something I want to do but I think I have to put some of my wants aside to look at the bigger picture in my life so yeah <laughs> I'm just I've been thinking about a lot of things and stuff and I'm just trying to find ways to make more money because I'm scraping by scraping by so that's why I'm like firm budget now um where I'm only buying my necessities like the payments that I have to do each month so I have like a car payment medical bills I have student loans just started up again um I have uh, my groceries are always astronomical because being gluten-free and I cook everything that I eat. I don't go out to eat ever. Um, so yeah, and then gas, oh, gas. <laughs> um, but I'm excited for tomorrow night. I'm gonna go hang out with some girlfriends in my college town and possibly go country dancing. So that's gonna be really fun. I need to, I'm trying to go out and do things and socialize, <laughs> socialize, so um, Anyway, that was a long ramble for me, but um, yeah, I'm gonna go find an audiobook and go on my walk. Hi friends, it's Saturday night. I didn't film like anything at all on Friday. I went like right after work, I got ready to go to um, my friend's place was an hour away and we went country dancing. It was really fun. I talked to some people, it was fun. I hung out with them. So um, I was out there peopling, I'm trying to people more. So um, I did that today as well. I went to, normally I do my content planning and like other stuff, like my YouTube stuff at home, like on my computer, my editing, my everything at home. Um, but I decided to go out into the world and go to a cafe and um, talk to some people there as well. So like I've been talking to people, look at me, look at me go. I also got something checked off of my like bucket list, not bucket list, but like a guy has never asked for my phone number before in person and it happened for the first time. So 
Just thought I'd throw that out there. <laughs> I'm very proud of myself. Look. Look at me go. Anyway, um, I have some packages to open. So I wanted to show them off. Um, there are two books and then two other things that I wanted to open. Um, first is the book in this package that I'm very excited for. I already opened it because I already know what it is because I wanted to see it in person. But this is McKay's book. Look at that. <gasps> Look at McKay's book. My lovely sweet friend. Oh, hey, it's McKay. McKay from Oh, hey, it's McKay. Came out with a book. And we've been chatting about this book for a while. And, um... I am like so proud of her. <laughs> I'm so proud of her and her writing journey. Um, I loved her writing vlog. You can go check that out on her channel where she talks about, sorry if you hear cats scratching. Hey, let's not do that. <laughs> They're looking at me like, hmm? McKay's book, this is a rock star romance um, between Walker and Scarlett. So I had to support my friend and buy her book. Like look it's McKay Marie I'm so incredibly happy for her cover came out perfect like stunning I can't wait to have this on my shelf and like send her a picture and be like look what's on my bookshelves I'm so happy okay and then my other package is this one um it has three things in it okay here we go first thing is the book I got hopeless in like the person cover I think this is my favorite person cover out of the whole series like this is stunning absolutely stunning. it's my favorite person cover for sure oh like look she's even like holding his necklace like yes I will say though I've heard mixed things about this book from people so I don't know how I'm gonna feel I also haven't even read Reckless so I know I need to get on that but um I now have my collection complete of all of the people covers of the Chestnut Spring series so Yay. So this next thing is for a gift I'm making for somebody. So someone's birthday is towards the end of the month and I have to make this because I saw it on TikTok. I'm not going to talk about what it is. Um, I did tell my channel members, I have a channel members vlog, um, like talking about um, what I'm making somebody for their birthday. So you can go check that out if you want to know, but like that's only for my members because someone could watch it. You know what I mean? Um, anyway, it's like these tools here. That's what I'm going to show you are these tools. You have like this green tape, these cutters, you have the like wire, green wire things and even more green wire. So I'm using this for a specific reason to make something for somebody's birthday. So I'm going to leave that there. I don't know if she watches my videos. Anyway, and my last thing is my conditioner that I have. So, um, I, fun fact, am not a natural redhead. <laughs> I'm not. Some people are shocked by that. Well, I've been red since like 2019. I think 2019 was when I first got red. So first got my hair red, but this stuff smells so good. This is my leave in copper conditioner. It has like tints of dye to it, I guess. Um, and yeah, it says it cleanses and conditions, deposits, color pigments, and maintains hues to prevent fading. So I use this as my conditioner. Um, it's like tinted copper color for my hair and it smells so good and I was out of it so I bought it. So um, this company is really good for like if you want tinted um, conditioners. I'll leave this one specifically linked down below um, and yeah you can go check it out if you want to but um, my hair looking like this it would probably be way more faded if I didn't have this stinker because I only get my hair dyed like done colored twice a year because my my roots are growing out bad so that needs to come up soon <laughs> I normally go in December and then June that's what my normal two times so anyway um reading update it's the novella thon so I'm gonna talk about novellas the only novella that I've read since I last talked to you is Last from the Past by Jessica Kane, which I didn't really care for but it's fun it's fun. I think like some of the novellas that I'm reading for this novellathon are like books that are on my TBR and then they have kind of like let me down a little bit, but it's fine. Like I'm not butthurt about it. Like I am in a contemporary romance like emotional mood right now. That's just what I'm in. So like I'm not going to blame novellas for that. 
So, um, I think this book is fine. Our hero is a time traveler from like 1940 something and he time travels to our time and finds his soulmate. I didn't like our hero. I don't like misogynistic men and he was a misogynistic man. So there you go. Um, but I am currently reading this book. I know it's not a novella, but I thought I'd talk about it. This is Fake It Till You Bake It by Jamie Wesley. Briefly, the heroine in here was on basically a show like The Bachelor and um, she was like the last woman and The Bachelor proposed to her and she said no. And so she's like the most hated woman in America right now, in the world right now. And then our hero here is a professional football player. And when he's on his off season, he owns a bakery and runs a bakery. It's a fake dating romance between the two of them. I really like it. It gives me, take a hint, Danny Brown vibes for sure. So um, I'm like 77% of the way through this audiobook. Um, and I hope to either finish it tonight or tomorrow. So um, I am also reading Hollow by CM Nascosta, but I'm honestly not really feeling it. I'm not feeling it. I feel bad. I'm not feeling it. Um, so I might not finish it for tomorrow. I'm trying to be like, I think even if it's like a buddy read or like a required read or like a read along read, like I'm not going to force myself to read something I don't want to read. So I'm at that point in my reading journey. I'm like, I'm standing firm on this. So I don't think I'm going to finish it. Um, I finally found a Sam Nascosta book though that works for me. Like To Ravish a Rogue. Good. That's a good one. That's very good. Anyway, um, I'm currently making mac and cheese. I think I might even make chicken nuggets. I haven't had mac and cheese and chicken nuggets in a long time and I was feeling that, so. Hi friends, this is the end of this reading vlog. I thought I would wrap it up. It's Sunday night. I just got off of the live show with my lovely friends and Siam Costa. It was so fun chatting with everybody. It was so nice getting to talk to her and like pick her brain about certain things and like I loved um what's it called a oh, to ravish rogue sorry my brain is not working um it's late at night and my brain turns off so um i have some uh boiling water on the stove and i'm gonna make some gnocchi not make gnocchi from scratch but like my mom found gluten-free gnocchi at the store today and so i am making that bad boy so i love gnocchi and anytime i can eat it i will so um anyway i've just been like doing things around the house today um i ended up finishing the uh fake it till you bake it or something like that again sorry horrible titles um and i'm gonna give that one four stars i enjoyed it um the conflict at the end not my favorite thing ever <laughs> um but that's pretty typical with me and conflicts and romances they like can really make or break a book for me and i think the conflict's stupid like mm -mm. <laughs> so um the conflict was stupid so anyway <laughs> it was a solid read i feel like if you like to take a hint, Danny Brown. Sorry, this cat. Stop. I feel like if you like to take a hint, Danny Brown, you'll like this book. And it has um, like similar elements to it as well as like being its own work, obviously. But it was fun. And this cat just keeps messing all of my things up on my desk. Hey, that is my planner. Let's not do that. She's like, let's knock off this coaster. Let's knock off the planner. He's standing on my printer a second ago. Like, oh, there he goes again. Just stand on my printer. You're gonna break it, dude. These cats. Okay, um, <laughs> I have to fulfill an Etsy order tonight and um, pick out another book to read. I do still need to read my arc of Silent Lies by Neva Altaj. I think that's the title of it. Um, I need to finish that one. Yeah, the work week starts tomorrow, so I got things I gotta do. Um, but I've just been cleaning and then watching Great British Baking. I like have been keeping up with the new episodes that keep coming out. And like, I'm so impatient. I want to watch all of them already. So I'm going back and watching old seasons because I'm in that total like, like cozy reality TV mood. Like the reality TV shows where everyone's nice to each other. Like I love those. Um, like I've been rewatching too. Um, Next in Fashion on Netflix. That one's fun. Glow Ups also always fun. It's the makeup one. Um, like reality shows like that, especially if it comes with baking. Like I love um, Bake Squad. I want a new episode of Baking Impossible to come out. Like I love those types of shows so much. So anyway, um, I've just been rambling. So I'm going to put some stuff on the stove, put my gnocchi on the stove and um, pick out my next book. But thank y'all so much for watching. If you're wanting to watch weekly vlogs like this, be sure to check out my channel memberships link down below where I try to <laughs> post a weekly reading vlog or an exclusive video of some sort every single week. So you can get vlogs like this if you join my channel memberships. But yeah, thank y'all so, so much for watching and for Tiff, Sam, and Rachel for being the best co-hosts ever. I love y'all so much. So 
um, yeah, let me know how your novellathon went. I don't even know how many books I read. I think I read like six. <laughs> the number is not really important to me. Um, just the fact that I had fun with my friends. So anyways, uh, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.